Hello, wind believers. It's Renee, the practical shaman here, testing out my new mics and testing out uh, wind whistling with the new mics and set up for podcasting. And what we're gonna we're gonna call to Yelana, the Turkish wind goddess of guidance, who uh, comes from Turkey, where in the days before the Muslims had was the primary religion, they were wind believers. And what does that mean? They used to navigate the desert storms and the desert stand storms by their wind. And this week, Yalana comes to us from the east. And what does that mean? It means it's time to look at the guidance that we're receiving from our, our thinking, new beginnings, things that are being brought to us. Like for today, for me, I found out that the, the book is being translated in Spanish. And how exciting is that, that the woman who's going to be translating it was called by the winds because she immediately became a wind believer and is super excited about joining the wind clan and being part of uh, understanding what it is that she's translating. So as I told her, people are called to this work. The wind will call you. And Yolanda in the East, and you can read it, and I might as well go back in here since we're, we're testing this again. And and everyone seems to have patience for me, is about the ancestral nomads were keen observers of constellations and used temperate night skies as their map to help them navigate safely through harsh and ever-changing landscapes. Well, it's really fascinating that we pulled this wind today and there's a new moon. And paying attention to what that means for you, what, uh, what you'd like to manifest in this next cycle, because we just also moved into uh, Uranus and Scorpio, which I think is a long haul, is going to be revealing more things that have been hidden from us and revealing more truths. And we're seeing that in Hawaii with the spewing volcanic ash, where there's rupturing into the belief system of that we've held so sacred and uh, the molten lava is coming right out from the center of the earth. And you can look at that in your own life as what's coming forward from you now. What is it that you need to pay attention to? And again, there was a harsh and ever changing landscape. The nature, when you work with nature on nature's terms, it doesn't necessarily mean smooth sailing. Sometimes there's no wind, but Yelana is here to offer um, some guidance that the sands are shifting. She's beckoning you to observe your thoughts carefully because they will determine the quality and nature of your experiences as you journey through life. Like shifting sand in the wind, thoughts may mutate over time. Self-mastery requires patience. If you seek truth during the inconstant phases of the moon, uh, if Yelana is pelting your backside with grains of sand, be on guard because your mind is playing tricks on you. Halt before proceeding and ask, where am I out of sync? Am I hungry, angry, lonely, or tired? Which are ideas that came to me from uh, early practices in my AA when I early got sober, like that I wouldn't be able to tell right when I would be angry. Uh, and a psychiatrist once told me to look for being angry when I had been hurt. So as you wake up to these ideas, it doesn't mean that you're never going to be angry again. It means that you're going to be aware of the times to be on guard that anger could crop up. Also, like when I ran a catering business, I would get very tired afterwards. And so then being tired could create some really horrific bad behaviors. So over the years, I learned to hibernate for a couple of days, regroup, because like recently with the book launch, there's a big peak. And then all of a sudden there's a drop. I mean, and it, it's an illusionary drop, but in your mind, how do you deal with those low gaps? So Yelana's putting you on notice that this week to really pay attention to your ideas and your beliefs. All right, let's call to Yelana. So how we work with the wind whistle is on the first breath, we call in and connect ourselves to the mother earth. Connect yourself to that grumbling, rumbling, uh, maybe somewhat grotesque and but beautiful landscape that's forever shifting and changing. So connect yourself deep into the earth. And then in the second one, we're going to actually invite Yelana into our spiritual space to work with us so that we can be aware of the shifting winds that are, are blowing for us this week. 
And then the third one, we're going to actually create an energy bubble around ourselves with Yolana that, you know, so that we don't have to take it all on, that we take what's ours, but leave the rest behind. So we see, we take responsibility for our own hunger, our own relationships so that we don't move into that lonely spot, which for me, I only move into when I have a few minutes in between projects, in between writing a book, in between coursework. And then I'll say, well, where's somebody to play with? But really, if I want to be really in right relationship with that, I would have to create a lot more spaciousness in my life for those relationships. All right. So let's call to Yalana and Wind Whistlers, join me. And Yelana is beckoning us to go deep into our connection with the earth, to not be afraid of that fiery center, to source from that powerful energy that's emulating up, that's bubbling into the surface and use that power to source your dreams and fuel you as you become in right relationship with your own life. And now we're going to call into Yolanda to come in and show us and remove anything that's keeping us from seeing clearly what our beliefs and our, our ideas are. And anything that's stopping us from new beginnings. And now on that third wind breath in, we're going to bring that in and create an energy bubble around us. So a lot of that stuff that's not our beliefs, that are not our ideas, just bounce off of us and, you know, go wherever they need to go, but they don't interfere with our day. Love my wind whistling tools. Uh, if you're looking for one that really resonates with you, you I just got a brand new shipment in yesterday from Mexico and you can order one on uh, the practicalshaman.com website under in the store. And what they are is they're tools for you grounding in yourself, for you connecting with the powers that are greater than yourself so that you have that direct experience of the wind I mean, you don't need a wind whistle, but it certainly brings you center into your own homeness. So my name is Renee Barabo, and I'm the Practical Shaman, and I will look forward to hearing the comments on the, on the wall about how this sounds with my new Yeti mic. Okay, hope you're having a wonderful day, and signing off.